the prophecy told us he would come. Oh, make your quickest lap. Oh, sorry, where do we go? Let's see. But as the passage of time turned young sim racers into 40-year-old men, many had begun to have doubts. Someone's spinning. Take it out, everyone over there. There's a spinner. Which way's he going? Which way's he going? No! Sitting, sweating in their expensive chairs, looking at their curved screens of disappointment. No! So that's not ideal. They grew weary. The time felt like it would never come. But little did they know, the time wasn't just close. Oh, there's a roll. It was now. That's another car off. Oh my god, it's absolute carnage. Cars are everywhere. It's time. It's time for Phil Bradpot. It's time for Phil Bradpot's rookie reset. It's time for Phil Bradpot. It's time for Hey everyone, I hope this is working. Bear with me whilst I check, because it's been a while since we've done this. You might hear my phone. Okay, well that's good, that's a good start, right? So I can hear my voice. I'm now gonna press one of our, like, little meme things. I wanna hear if there's an echo. Okay, bear with me. Ooh, you're hard. Right, let me just check. Let me just check. Right, there is an echo. There's an echo. I heard... Right, let's try one more. Okay. Bear with me. Yeah, right, there's an echo. So I have to figure that out. Oh, it's so annoying when that happens. Because it happens completely at random. And then you have to change a bunch of audio stuff. Uh, I can hear maybe a bit louder. Or that might just be me. Okay, so... How long have we got till the race? The race is in like four minutes. I've done no practice, but I want to sort this audio thing out. So, uh, how do I fix that? I don't remember how I fix it. Because normally I just like restart and it all works. Um, I tell you what, let's just try a thing. Let's try it with the Lando Broken one. If I change it to monitor off, then I won't hear it. Keep going, keep going now. I can't, it's broken. It's broken. Okay, it's right, off. I'm just, I'm just Nikita, zdrasti. One moment. Yeah, okay, so that works, doesn't it? Yeah. It's annoying because it means I can't hear it. And I shouldn't have to do that. But let me just do that with a couple of them. Uh, or maybe I just won't press things in this first race. Let me see. Right, let me see if I can do this with all of them. Right, so that's broken. Let's do monitor off on that one. Ooh, I can probably do this quite quick. We're not going to use the Dutch national anthem because I got a, a copyright strike for that for some reason. Um, this one, monitor off. Gervais, monitor off. Just tell me whether this is. Ooh, be like, you're I hard. can't hear it now. That's the only thing. Right. Incident, monitor off. Car overtake. Because it's so annoying when you guys can hear like an echo. But Murray Walker, let's turn the monitor off for him. Ralph, yeah. Ricky Bobby, that would be really annoying. Uh, this is fine, monitor off. I'll, I'll try and fix it another time. I think that's probably most of them, isn't it? That's most of the ones we use. Like... Oh! 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 One. What happened? Right, let's get ready for the race. Safe out of the car, rushing to safety, and the, the crowd has shown four. their appreciation that so he's alright. So I've also right. noticed that you guys can't see any standings. So, it's okay. We can fix that too. So the standings, if I do a little refresh here, hopefully you're now going to see them. Apparently not. Do I have them actually running? Might I might just have not had them running. Right, here we go. Let's see if it works now. Because you kind of want to see the standings. Maybe it only works whilst I'm in the car. God, it's so annoying. Oh, there they are. Look, they're all there. Standings are there. Um, the only thing we need to do... I've just noticed that this... Uh, what's the button for... You see how they overlap a little bit? Which is a bit rubbish. Um, you can see too many people in the standings. Right, I can fix that. It's amazing how much stuff I have to do. Just because I've not been on it in a while. Right, so. If we go here, look, you can see what I'm doing. 
So standings, at the moment, we've got... Buena, Daniel. Let's try and... How do I make it smaller? Content. That's all fine. Can we get rid of that? No, that's not it. Oh, it's... Uh, yeah, it's standings that we're trying to reduce the number of. Drivers at the top. If, what if I make this smaller? There we go. No, that did nothing. That did literally nothing. Okay. One more option. I'll just literally make it smaller. Like this. Hey. Buena, Miguel Ángel, si te refieres a mí. That worked. That worked. Cool. Okay. I mean, I've had no prep to do the race. Sí, this is... Tarde, buenas tardes. Yeah, see. Sí. What he says. Buenas tardes, ¿qué tal? Oh. Ariel, How's the steering wheel cam? Yeah, you can see the wheel. Cool. Exacto. That's good, right. You can see the wheel nice and clearly. I've got some gloves to wear. I think it's time for the race. Yeah, What's the time now? Yeah. One minute and we're going to go to the race. Hey, Rob. Yeah, I, I haven't not been streaming because I couldn't be bothered. I've just not been at home. This is like one of the only days I've had at home to do this. So, um, Right, gloves are coming on. I assume the music's not like an echo for you, is it? Please say the music's not echoing. I bet the music's echoing too. I assume the music's not like an echo. Oh, okay, let me just try and find it. I'll just because I Good like that, guys. I like hearing. Oh yeah, here we go. The session's starting. Right, where's music? I'm gonna. It's what's weird is I had this all working, but that's fine. Monitor's off now. You should still be able to hear the music, but I'll turn it off for the race. It just means I can't hear stuff, and I like to be able to monitor what's going on. The music's quite quiet in the background. Were you saying you can't hear music? Right. It was just very. It's in the background. You should have been able to hear it, but. Um, well, I'll double check. I'm gonna have to do a bit of a technical. Yeah, I'll just turn it up a bit. I'll just turn it up a bit for next time. Here we go. I just can't hear it now. Right, so, here we go then. Uh, what session is this? And why are there so many people who have already set time? How can they possibly be? No, there aren't. It's just the lap timer needing a little fresh. So let's just go to standings. Give it a little cheeky refresh. There we go. Right. Now the music's too loud. <laughs> Amazing. This is why I like to monitor it. <laughs> but I can't monitor it, otherwise you get otherwise you get an echo. Right, okay. Let's just turn it off. Oh, I just stalled. There we go. Oh, it's stalled again. It's because we've got manual clutch on. Okay, here we go. Right, this is just practice. There's no pit lane speed limiter in this car. Can you guys hear me now? What looks good? The hat looks good. Yeah, this hat is, is a Phil Bradpart hat from the merch store. Check out the merch store, everyone. Link in the description. Or you can buy directly from YouTube. I need to sit slightly lower in this car so it looks better for you guys. Driver height. There we go. There we go. You can see a bit more of the car now. Close to 12k subscribers. Yeah, we are. We are. I should probably look at the track. Instead of reading the chat. Right, this is just practice, so this doesn't mean anything. It'll go to qualifying in a minute. Just let me know about the um, the volume and all that kind of stuff. I am so undercooked. Not been on iRacing in ages. Haven't done any practice for this session. And it's a checkered flag already. There we go. Oh, there we go. Straight into qualifying. Who needs practice? Not Phil Bradpot. Apparently. Oh! Phil Bradpot doesn't do qualifying. I forgot. Right, so we're 11th seed. So we're second to last seed in this race. 
So I guess we'll just do our normal thing. We'll go. We'll do. We'll do qualifying, but we'll deliberately come last like normal. So I'll get an off track on every. Well, you doing the first race in April for access karting? Absolutely, the name is blonde. I was out in the garage today. Um, I was out in the garage today doing some more prep on my car. So today I fitted some new tyres. Um, I've got some GX UK tyres here, by the way. Hang on. Here are my practice tyres for GX UK. So these are brand new, um, so that when I'm practicing on the right. Um, age of tyres for uh, when I go to a race weekend. But I've got a, a not brand new set for testing. So those ones you just saw there are for the race weekend. The track temperature is falling. It's now 38 Celsius. But I've got some others that I've just fitted to some old wheels for um, for testing rather than race weekend practice. Right, I, I should probably like concentrate a bit. I know I don't need a qualifying lap, but I do need to be up to speed a little bit for the race. What did everyone think of Formula One qualifying today? Happy, sad? What are we thinking? My cap's in the way of the chat. I can't actually read the chat properly. <laughs> need to pull the peak up like a chav. So I can see the chat. Everyone happy that Max is on pole? The RIP Merck's pace. <laughs> Hamilton's just set up for the race. It's fine, it's fine. Hopium. Oh, I think it's a lot closer. Don't you think it looks way closer than last year? I think it's a lot closer. So don't worry, I think the racing's going to be good. Max is probably going to win, but... Oh, hang on, I need to get an off track. I need to get an off track, otherwise we'll qualify at the front somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Can I get an off track here? It won't let me get an off track anywhere. Oh, don't worry, I'll get one. Should we get one here? There we go, that's an off track. That's an off track, so the lap won't count. Don't worry. Ooh, that was a bit wild. That was, a, that was an off track unintentionally. Uh, it's nice to be back here with you guys. I've really missed this. Well, I could definitely one second quicker. So I, I missed that apex trying to read that chat. Hang on. Merck are definitely one second quicker in the race. Okay, anything's possible when you believe. Right, so that would have been a 132. What's everyone doing so far? Why are none of the positions coming up on the screen? Well, we're not seeing anyone's positions. I'm going to fix it. I don't know what's going on. That was too much red curb. Well, I'll show you the... Oh, I can't even show you them there. Right, hang on. Can I do this whilst driving? I kind of need both hands on the wheel. That's the problem. Ooh, that was poor. But we needed an off-track anyway, so that's it. Alright, Phil. We need to watch these track limits. The leader has just done a 31.5. Yeah, but it's not come up on the screen, weirdly. Right. Oh, we just finished the lap just so I've done it, even though I know it won't count. 
but I just really want to know why we're not getting our lap times coming up on the screen there. Right, so that would have been a 131.8. Right, so let's try and fix this. Why are standings not appearing? Restart it, get the clutch in next time. Uh, they're not there, are they? Why are standings not showing? Right, bear with me. We can fix this. It's just, when you leave this kind of live stream, I don't know why, there must be updates happen or something in the background. When you don't do a stream like this for a while, suddenly loads of stuff stops working that was working fine before. So let's make a new browser. Browser 3. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Standings. We'll copy this. into Because it was working fine a minute ago. Paste it into here. Oh, I'm using the wrong keyboard. Sugar, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm using the wrong keyboard. We should have music back on now. There we are. So, standings. Copy. Cancel. And then paste this in here. This should work, hopefully. Yeah, they're working here. I've got no idea. It's like bizarre how they just stopped working. Why is it not showing anyone? Are we going to win? I don't know. But why, why is no one standing showing up? What's going on? What is going on? Yeah, okay, I think I overlay need an update. Uh, I think that's why. I think I overlay need an update. We might now get two sets of standings. Can you um? Can you still hear? Run I overlay. Okay. Uh, maybe that was the problem. I hope it hasn't just like. Okay, gets working now. It's working now. Is it working with the old? Yeah. Right, there we go. There we go. Oh, would you prefer that? It kind of takes up quite a lot of the screen, that's all. Guys, do a vote. Do you prefer it like that or like that, where you you know you can sometimes see the standings? Right, let's just go with the old one for the moment. We'll try and change it after this. I've got no idea if music's playing because I can't. Screen, that's all. Guys, Is there music? Vote. <laughs> Jeff O'Boyle, that is a very Christian Horner WhatsApp messages in joke there. Right, grid. We're going to go to the grid, guys. Hang on. We've got a button for that. Uh, this one? I can, I can hear, hear the, the sound, sound of virtual engines running. It must be race time. It's time to race, time to race with you, Phil Bradbach. It's time to race, time to race with you. Right, hey everyone, welcome back. The standings are up there on the left. You can't really see them very well because they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of hidden. In fact, oh, let's see if I've got time to do this. Right, I'll leave them like that. I'll leave the standings like that for you so you can actually see them, but I'm gonna try and fix that for next time. Oh, oh. Oh, it won't let me change into first because it's not time yet. That's fine. Am I going to have a fireball? Oh my god, a fireball. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, I mean, you probably don't want to know. You probably don't want to know, but those WhatsApps, oh my goodness. I, I fortunately didn't see the one that has made people want to bleach their eyes. But, wow. Yeah. Probably best not to talk about it. Anyway, buy merch on the merch store. <laughs> Um, oh my god, the Bahrain blast. He's not ever getting away from that, is he? Right, I don't know how you start this car, so... Okay, Phil, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Go, go, go. That kind of worked. That worked. Let's go. Okay, I forgot. I've got to, like... I've got to press two paddles at the same time to do the clutch. Still there. Hold your line. Right, the Phil Bradpot last to first challenge. Here we go.
No idea what split we're in. Let's see if we can make our way up the field. Pinched here. Clear right. Okay, we've made some places. Right. We're up to ninth. Hold your line. Clear right. We don't seem to be very fast though. We don't seem to be catching anyone, so let's work on that. We might be in a higher split than normal. We might be starting to be in splits where we should probably do the qualifying session if we want to have a good race, but let's see. Or maybe like practice beforehand so you don't just make terrible mistakes like that. Uh, right, here we go. They might all start fighting in front, you never know. But we've got some time to make up here. That guy's gone wide. Okay, okay, we made some headway there. We made some headway. 1.1 seconds behind. Okay, Phil. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Okay, these are short races. Whoa, that was too much of a lift. That was too much of a lift. We are not catching anyone. We should probably have practiced. Is it week 13? Do these races... Whoa! Okay, that wasn't so good. Do these races even count for I rating? I think we're now last. Yeah, we're now last. Do these races even count for I rating, guys? I don't even know if this is week 13. We're not getting a lot of I rating here. Did you say it's next week? No, we, we. Okay, so this does actually count. Okay. Probably shouldn't have just given away a bunch of places then. At least we're like one of the lowest ranked in this race. Okay, thanks guys. That's last. Yeah, it is last. Right, we've got some places to make up. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? doing, man? Don't worry, we're set up for race pace. The race is going to come to us. Somehow. It's a fixed setup race, by the way. Alright, Phil, just cut the track. Not really, went wide. Okay, there's some fighting happening. It's all to play for, and by all, I mean last places. Oh, oh, someone's off in front. That's going to be a free position. We're not last anymore. We're third to last. We might make I rating at this point. Please open the gas, please. Right. Let's try and improve. Yeah, well now, now we're third to last, to be fair. I seem to be finding some time. That'll be the fact that I've now done a couple of laps of practice. Oh god, the music's still on, isn't it? Okay, Phil, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. It shouldn't have been.
It's not always bad to be in last place. Here's some things we can focus on. One, we tried hard. And two, we're still dear friends. Shift through there. Okay, mentally noted. The leader has just done a 30.6. Shut up, leader, with your fast lap times. Oh, the really late class. Wow. He's still there. Sorry for all the clicking. Still there. We're still side by side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna end badly for one of us. Clear right. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. It was him. It ended badly for him. Oh my god, look at this lunge! <laughs> That's why you should always... <laughs> That's why you should always watch your mirrors! <laughs> Whoever did that lunge, that was amazing. <laughs> That's why you should always watch your mirrors, I saw that coming. Good driving, Zachary, very good. Right. Let's keep going. Eighth place. Your lap time was 133.1. I watched the replay, but I had already committed to the inside, and then you came over and blocked. I couldn't stop any harder than I already was. Okay, let's keep going. I think P8 might be our highest position we can get here. So what we might want to do in future, guys, is qualify. I'm going to need your permission, though, to qualify as Phil Bradpart, because, um, yeah, normally we don't. This guy's quick. Here he comes. That's a new fastest lap for Might make a difference. Tight. How long is left? I definitely don't know how people are doing 130s. Like, it's bizarre. Just two minutes left. It's two minutes to go. Two minutes. So that's like maybe one, maybe two laps. a bit of time. This is like an extended test session. Yeah, we are we are getting quicker. Yep, 
Yeah, one more lap. Okay, Phil, the next car is Smith. So this is nearly a 130. It's a low, well, 131 1. Try and keep this guy behind. What should we race next? He's going to lunge, isn't he? He's going to go for it, this guy. thought about it. I'm just watching the mirrors now. He's trying. Car right. Clear right. Right side. Looks like the leader has gone off it. Turn one. Clear right. I think we had a good bit of defence there. I think that was a good defence. Like right, so, wasn't glorious, P8, but we finished higher than we started, and we tried real hard, and we're still best friends. So, right, let's see what else yeah. we could have raised. Josh, looking at the replay, I mean, you just came over, like, right in front of me. There, uh, there was nowhere I could go. There is nothing left to watch there, so let's see what else. Yeah, I already did the NASCAR meme, so I'm going to do it again. Right, what shall we race? We've got options available. Formula 4 at the Nürburgring. For sure we should do that. That starts in three minutes. Let's do it. Let's see if we can download it in time. We're going straight into that with zero practice. I have to buy Nürburgring. That's fine. Uh, we gained six I rating. Cool. Come on. Let me buy Nürburgring. Yep, yep, yep. Pay. So Phil Bradpot now owns Nürburgring. Let's go, let's go. Update? No! We're going to run out of time before the session starts. It's a 2 megabyte update to the Nürburgring Grand Prix track. Come on. Okay, reload iRacing. Here it comes, here it comes. Uh, it's not the Nordschleife, Adam. It's just the GP track. Right, where is it? Where is it? Here. Race in two minutes. Register. Yes, we're registered. Obviously, literally no practice. No setup either. So we're going to have to go with the iRacing default setup. Was the track map up during that race? Here we go. Join session. Okay, I'm just checking some more settings. This has obviously been the very last. <laughs> so, I don't know why we're getting that weird echo, uh, but... I, I wish I could hear the music now, I wish I could hear the memes, but I'd much rather they weren't echoing for you guys. So we'll just leave it, leave it for the moment, I'll just assume it's all working. Right, alright, have a good race, going to Imza at Silverstone. Okay, thanks James G. Everyone in here, if you don't mind liking, maybe even like sharing the stream, that would be so cool. Right, let's see, oh, oh it's Adam, I, I just saw Adam's um, little profile picture pop up, I thought it was someone else. Right, uh, we don't want Okayama set up. Is there a Nürburgring set up in here for Nürburgring GP? There we go, that's the default. So we're not on anything fancy, we're on the default. Let's check. Oh, okay, that's wrong. So let's change all the view and stuff. We want to be like there. 
we want the steering wheel on. So we're going to need to go down a little bit like that. That's pretty okay, isn't it? Uh, maybe we'll change the field of view slightly like that. Is that okay? And then if I bump the driver height up a little. Is that kind of okay for you guys? Right, start the car. Your main speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's turn down the force feedback. That's too heavy. Let's see if we can get even one Great lap in. Clear. Watch the white line. Oh, I've just noticed the map's wrong. The track map is the wrong way around. We are going into this super undercooked, guys. Everyone else is going to know what they're doing. And, you know, it's one thing knowing the track. It's another thing knowing exactly how to drive it in this car, in this session. So... Verts, not Charlie Verts, is it? As it's not Alex Verts' actual kid. Uh, no, it's not. Right, okay, qualifying, guys. Do I have your permission to try qualifying, or are we starting from the back again? What um, seed are we in this race? We are. 48 doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. We don't know yet. We need to get into the into the real session. Adam, you've said permission granted. I don't know whether everyone else is going to give permission too. So, um, I mean, qualifying is probably not going to get us that far up the grid. That's the only thing. Maybe we just start at the back like normal. Maybe maybe it's better. If we practiced a bit, maybe qualifying would make sense. <laughs> Hey, Elf Nord. Right, what seed are we in this race? We're the 12th seed out of 21 drivers. So, probably split three, two or three. Right, we'll just do a little tiny practice. All clear, push now. This is just practice still. Is the car volume okay for you guys? Shake and bake, Megan. Thanks to all the new viewers. So, for anyone who doesn't know what's going on, we've connected to the session, um, and qualifying starts in a minute. Hey, Kai. Kai, I've actually got a beer downstairs, so after this race, I'll get a beer ready for the next race. It's a coffee beer. Right, is the Schumacher S full throttle in this car? Pretty easily, yes it is. I'm going to be finding so much pace during this race. New people who have just started watching. Give the stream a like. Oh, we're on the proper version of the chicane. I'm, I'm not used to that. In um, all the Nord Cypher racing, use the other chicane. So I just need to remember we got the type chicane. NGK chicane, I think it's called. Oh, it was. Brad, you're coming to do GT4 at half past what? Half past eight, I'll try. Here we go. Here we go. Qualifying. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. We've got two laps. Let's get this done. Good. 
Let's see what we can do. Still not sure what gear. Yeah, that's second. Remember, we don't have a good setup. We're just using the iRacing default setup. Hey, Brussels. It's a cool name, Brussels. Let's get these F4 tyres warmed up. I sat there last year. Watch Ralph Schumacher drive his Williams. I can't remember what year it was. 2004, 5 Williams. Maybe 2003 Williams. So I'm drive it around here on a demo. Oh, we're qualifying on race fuel, by the way. I forgot to take the fuel out, so we're just on a race setup. So we are definitely not on an optimal qualifying run here. We've got 15 litres of fuel, as you can see on the steering wheel. Which is full race fuel. This is just practice for me. Alright, here we go. Turning my fan up, it's getting a bit hot. Like the Mercs, exactly. A little bit tentative into that. Guys, please don't expect a, a good position here. This is going to be like real damage limitation. I'm just guessing everything. As you can see, I'm getting purple sectors everywhere because I've never done them before. There's another purple. Oh, you might not be able to see that because I think the delt, the um, I think the split time is hidden behind the steering wheel. That was suboptimal. Actually, didn't lose too much. All right, easy flat through the Schumacher S. As you can see, I'm gaining time everywhere because I'm just learning the whole time. This is like first practice laps on race fuel. Exactly, Jeff. God, what position are we going to be? So someone's on a 58. We're done a 59-0. Not, not amazing. Let's see if we can improve. Remember, we are on full race fuel. We're not as far off as I thought we'd be, to be honest. Considering the lack of practice, the full fuel, and actually the setup isn't even a, a good setup, it's just eye racing default. So, this isn't too bad. We're closer than I thought. Even Phil. Hmm. 
No, a bit too greedy there. That lost a lot of time. Okay, so I've learned a lesson through there. You can't go quite as quick into that 90 left. That might have been a couple of positions if I hadn't screwed that. That's a shame. Okay, so definitely potential for a few more tenths because I lost a tenth or so in... Uh, Fastest lap for Sanchez, 158.1. I lost a tenth or so. Okay, so yeah, we're within the right second. I'm, I'm going to take that because we are well undercooked for this session. Okay, music back on. That, that could have been worse. I'm going to drink some coffee. Beer after this one. So we'll just chill out. I can't hear the music. Hopefully you guys can hear the music. I'm going to have some coffee, freshly brewed. Seven tenths off with a full tank of fuel and a baseline setup. So that's all right. We, we, can, we can move forward. We're eight tenths off. <laughs> One minute left to qualify. So that is, um, that's Phil Bradpot's first ever actual qualifying session. Let's see. So next is Long Beach fixed setup. Okay, Kieran, I'll have to buy Long Beach and I'll have to buy the GT4 car. That's the only problem, but Phil Bradpot deserves it. Hope everyone's enjoying the hat. I'm not wearing the t-shirt um, because it's in the wash, but get your own Phil Bradpot t-shirt on the merch store. Into the merch store. We've got loads. We've got the, um, we've got the meatball flag t-shirt. We've got the blue flag stickers and t-shirts and hoodies. Don't race the leaders. All those things. Go check it out. The merch store is quite good. And any suggestions for more things you want on there, let me know and I'll try and add them. It's three seconds till we go to the race. Here we go. That's the end of the session, P11. I can, I can hear, hear the sound, sound of virtual engines running. It must be race time. It's time to race, time to race with Phil, Phil Bradbot. It's time to race, time to race with Phil Brad Bradbot. Realized, just realised the Phil Bradbot logos haven't been up this whole time. Look, they're, now they're up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so good luck everyone. I'm live streaming this on my channel. If anyone wants to watch it back, just search Phil Bradpot on YouTube. Okay, so. Thank you, good luck. Good luck. Okay, let's see what we can do. You can see me finding the clutch bite point there in the little blue line. That's maximum clutch. This is my second clutch. That's too much of a gap, I think. I think it has to be like here, like there, like there. Okay. Well, oh, I should probably change it so it's, it doesn't automatically fuel. And we should turn off tire changing as well. There we go. Okay, here we go. Hi to the stream. People are saying hi to the stream. Okay, let's go. Let's try not to die. Someone with a cool Alonzo helmet over there. God, here we go. Turn one at the Nurburgring. Here we go. Be ready. Let's go. Let's go. That's 20 minutes to go. All right, start. Right side. Clear right. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear all round. On your right. Clear left. Clear all round. On your right. Clear right. Whew. Right side. 
That could have been worse. That could have been worse. Right. I just wanted to avoid damage. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. You are monkeys. It's not that hard to do a race. I don't know what people think they're fucking unreal in that one. Not have to kill this damage because you're going to the heroes. Alright, let's try and pick up a tow from these guys who are much quicker than us. We certainly made up some places at turn one, avoiding that carnage, and we got no damage. I went in way too fast again. I said I learnt my lesson. Um, but yeah, cold tyres. Need to keep in this guy's tow. If we want a top five. Top five would be good from 12 from the grid or wherever we were. Top five in front of us are quite well spread out. Well, that guy's coming in the pits. Okay, bad exit. Really bad exit. I went in too hot. Let's just see what happens here, though, because we've got a nice little tow, and they're going to have a fight at turn one. E6. Really slow though on the exit. Right, the guy ahead of us is Lorden. Oh, he's disappeared. He's back. I don't even know how long this race is. You've gone quiet, live chat. Main danger with this guy is that he's blinking. Try and get on to the next guy. Come on, Phil. Nicely done. Thanks for letting me concentrate. This guy's going to go for a lunge, isn't he? All right. Clear right. Ah, oh, the guy in front went off a little bit as well. Lost a lot of time there getting sideways. Ah, oh, this guy's just going to fight us. We could have moved forward together, man. Now we're just losing time. That's annoying. Let's see what happens. We might close in on the guys in front. He's holding me up now. If he hadn't fought me, we could have been moving forward together up to those next guys. Focus on the exits. Go faster here. Left side, clear left. Okay, well, he definitely moved on the brake in there. I committed to the inside and he moved. I don't know whether my car's broken. Oh yes, no damage. We got no damage. And we got two places. I'm not taking that as our fault because I committed right and then he moved after I'd already committed. 
I was on the limit. Not everyone would agree, but we'll watch the replay afterwards. But I definitely had already committed to the inside, and then he turned in, so... I couldn't back out at that point, so... Right, next is a podium, somewhere up here. We'll watch the replay back. You know I tend to admit if it's my fault. <laughs> right, we need some pace now. So what's the guy in front doing? 57.8, but the guy in second's doing 59s. Okay. Let's see if now we're not in a fight, whether we can gain some time. I'll read your comments afterwards, guys. The gap to rats ahead is increasing. It's now 3.3. Yeah, he did want to play hard. Oh, that was a bit deep. A bit slow. Right, the guys in front are battling. That probably won't be enough to draw me in. No, he's just got through. Need them to fight a bit more. This will be a massive I rating gain for Phil Bradpart if we stay in this position. Ooh, they're back there side by side. I'm going to try. I'm trying, guys. Oof. It would help if we had a good setup, I'm just going to say. All right, we've done a 58-7. That is not really quick enough. Unless Hammond there is really off the pace. Got a big lock up, old Hammond. Are we gaining? 2.7 is the gap. See if this hammer guy is catchable. It's 2.4 now. The gap is coming down. Cheers, Megan. Cheers, Jeff. Two point two. This this gap's coming down, guys. This gap's coming down. Two seconds exactly now. What's his time? He's done a 59-0, and we've done a 58-2. We're catching. Eight tenths on that lap.
still two seconds the gap at the moment. Oh, there's a potential podium here. Don't know how many laps are left. Oh, if only we had a good setup and some practice. Laps slower. I've screwed those sectors. Although it's still now down to 1.7, the gap's closing. How long is left? Eight minutes to go. Can we do it? Not if I do that. Not if I do that. That's going to be a slowdown. Bugger. Bugger. Lost the rear on the entry. You need to slow down if you don't want a penalty. Okay, okay. It's not fully over, but that might have made it kind of over. I'm trying to gradually lose the time rather than have to do it all at once. I've got to lose another second. Okay, I'm trying to give it away. I'm trying to give it away. Come on. There we go. Right, okay. So, I've lost myself a good second and a half or more to this guy. Ugh, more to catch. This is going to be very, very tough now. No, let's go. Let's try. Completely my mistake. Just going in a bit deep. Oh, that's annoying. All right. Let's see how much we can take out of him per lap. So what's the gap now? 3.4. Okay. We need a 58.9 on that last lap. really let him off the hook there. Sorry stream, I thought we were heading towards a glorious podium there in split four or whatever this is. <laughs> Too much fuel on board. Okay, You've used half your fuel. Gaps down to 2.9. It's not fully over yet, guys. 2.8. I just made it a lot harder, that's all. What was his last lap? He did a fifty-eight nine, right? Two point six. Brussels, I do like a challenge. Brussels, what's that name about? Explain. Why are you called Brussels? Are you in Brussels? Okay, Phil, five minutes to catch two point five. Minutes. Five minutes to catch two point five second gap. The captain Halland ahead is now two point five. Point three. 
Ah, uh, got it. Makes sense. Two point two. We've done a 58-0. So we are we are on the pace of the leaders now. Now I've worked it out, we're on the pace of the leaders. Just a bit too late. Two seconds to catch. We're going to be close, you know. 1.9. If I hadn't fluffed up that chicane, we'd have definitely been fighting him. Ages ago. One point eight. Yeah, way too much fuel on board still, even for a race stint. Still one point eight. We're gonna have one more lap to go. Yeah, one more lap. One point seven, it's not gonna be enough. New fastest lap for Rats, one fifty seven point eight. You're reeling Hammond in the gap is now one point seven seconds. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Oh, there's, there's, two there's two more laps. There's two more laps. Let's keep going, let's keep them under pressure. Two more laps, including this one. 1.7 seconds. 1 1.6. 1.5. Can Hammond keep it together and beat... Brad Pot. He's pulled it back to 1.6. He's on a good middle sector in this lap. I'm not closing him fast enough. It's going to take a mistake from him to draw me closer. messed up with that chicane. Back to 1.5. Uh, a bit too hot into there. It's back to 1.5. Last lap coming up. Only gained a couple of tenths on that lap. Rats, 157.8. Yeah, we're not quite. We're, we're a couple of tenths off that. Last lap time was at 158.2. Sector 3 is 0.3 off the pace. All right, Phil, that's good consistency. Keep it up. He's done well on this last couple of laps. He's like found his feet. Oh, 
it so tantalizingly close. Next time. Next time. It's a good track this though. One point three. One point one. <laughs> Maybe we can be under a second by the finish line. Okay, well, well done, well done, hamster. Good job. Well done, mate. Good finish. Yeah, I shouldn't shouldn't have thrown it away. Right, let's see what we're gonna race next. Yeah, it's my my fault for not being fast enough. Didn't help having the wrong. Uh, set up. Right, let's look at the crash. When was the crash? Let's get the music back on. Because it's time for... It's time, time for... for it. So, we're going to go to... I don't know which lap it was on. Is it this one? It was an early lap. Was it this one? Was it this, this lap? Yeah, it was this time. Right, let's have a look. So, let's just sit in real time. And then will judge me for how badly I did this. Here we go. Right, so I'm lining him up for a move. Yeah, okay, I think that was really just my fault. <laughs> so, from my perspective, I was about to dive. So I'm lining up. I'm braking really late. And he turned in at a completely um, fine position. And I just punted him. Right, what was his name? I've got to say sorry. Um, not him. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Uh, Felix. Felix von der Leyden. If you can hear me, I'm really sorry. It was my fault. I punted you completely by mistake, but it was my fault totally. It just didn't feel like my fault at the time. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty damning. <laughs> Some Sometimes the video evidence goes against you, and this is one of those times. I mean, okay. In my defence, it looked like he was going to follow the, the edge of the track here. So if you watch this in slow-mo, this is my only defence. It's not a great one. So I'm now about to peel off to go to the inside. And then he chooses that moment to peel off to the inside. So can you see what I was... Can you see my thought process there? So I was, I was going left and then he kind of reacts. Do you see? Um, anyway. So at, at the time it happened, I'd already committed. I had nowhere to go but... I probably could have been a bit more circuit. Let's see what he saw. I think his car was okay. Oh no, he, he finished really far down. Is it broken? I think his car's okay. Okay, what happened to him? He must have had some adventures because he didn't lose all those places because of me. Oh, he, he pitted. Oh no, maybe he had damage he had to repair. Sorry, Felix. Yeah, my, my bad. My bad. Okay, right, next race. What's up next? Whose fault was it? It was mine. It was my fault. It's not normally my fault. That one was. Um, next up, we're not going to do ovals because ovals suck. Um, so it's Formula V. We don't own that unless it's free. Um, production car challenge. What's that? I don't know that track. Uh, it's just a rest. Oh, I've got those cars. That could be okay. The Toyota GR... Oh no, I don't own the track. Okay, let's, let's just tell you what, let's change this to owned content. And I'll change it to owned content. It's, oh, it's not owned content already. Okay, match all tags. There we go. Right, so what do I own that we can do? Apparently I own, I do not know that track. Um, what's the time? 8.24. So something that starts at 8.30. There's an off-road thing. <sighs> Maybe not. Okay, so that is all ovals or off-road. This is 
This one starts at 8.30. Oh, God. Is it... Okay. That's not going to be fun because I just do not know the track at all. And I think it's a little bit of an ask to do that one. That's Formula V, which sucks. I do at least know that car, but not the track. Virginia, don't know that track. Formula 4 at 8.45, the fixed. So we could do the same as what we just did, except the fixed version. That's what we're going to do, because at least I know the track. So let's register for that race. It's in 20 minutes. That means I can play my little video, I can go get a beer, and then I can see you guys in like 15 to 20 minutes. I I'm sure I would love that track, but I do need. I think I need to at least have done a lap or two, because we'll just be last otherwise. Because we're going to be in too high a split to not... Um, you know to race on a track that i just don't know so let's let's play the video i'm gonna go and i will try and learn it though let's see what our can i see what our um result was from that last race phil brad part stats fia f4 what was the results we gained 70 i rating we're nearly up to 2.5k on the i rating with old phil nice and not a big safety rating change. Oh, that was the top split. Oh my god, Phil Bradbutt was in the top split. No wonder it was hard. That was top split F4. Right. Okay. Top split F4 without a setup. That's always going to be a little bit hard. Okay, I don't feel quite so bad now. Right. Okay, I'm going to go get a beer. Watch this if you haven't already seen it. Uh, what's the button I'm supposed to press? It's this one that says T because it's when I go get a cup of A few months ago, I bought the SimLab P1X dashboard in full carbon, as well as the Race Deck XL button box for the largest stream deck and a standard race deck for the normal size stream deck to use on my simulator for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because they look really cool and they add to the look of the sim, but also because it gives me vastly more flexibility in terms of the button pressing without having to navigate through menu screens on iRacing. I already owned the stream decks and I already knew how good they were, but I needed an aesthetically pleasing case for them because sticking them onto the rig with Velcro just didn't look professional. I also wanted a color scheme that would match my rig and my simulator room. And since I have a Nürburgring themed room, I wanted the green colors that match all the green backlighting that I have in my simulator room. And Apex Sim Racing custom fitted the green buttons for no extra charge. Once everything arrived, it was extremely simple to fit the stream decks. Everything worked first time. And as you'd expect from Apex Sim Racing, the quality and the finish was top level. And in terms of immersion, I love that I can now start the car realistically. And I love that when I'm changing things like the brake bias, I'm grabbing a physical dial and you can feel each notch 
each click very definitely. I've assigned some of the other dials to help me very quickly change the field of view or the driver height or even the horizon so that when I jump in and out of different cars, I can quickly adjust the settings exactly to my liking without having to find the correct menu and click a mouse. By adding this dashboard and these button boxes, I feel like I've transformed my sim rig into much more of a real cockpit. And although none of this equipment was cheap, it's definitely good value. It's exactly the kind of quality that you'd expect for this kind of money. And I'd fully recommend it to anyone looking for a high-end set of button boxes, especially if you want to pair them with Stream Decks to give you that added layer of functionality. And remember, if you're interested in these button boxes or the dashboard for the P1X or in fact anything on the Apex Sim Racing store, use my coupon code BRAD at checkout and you'll receive 5% off all qualifying items. And as I'm sure you're very aware if you're watching this video, 5% off of the cost of high-end sim equipment can add up to quite a lot of money. Thanks for watching. Use the link in the description to head to the Apex Sim Racing store. And if you've got any questions about these products, please ask in the comments below. Well, hey, I'm back. Good timing, everyone. Thanks, Brussels. And hey, Megan in the chat. I didn't realize you were Adam's Megan. I didn't realize. Um, so let me show you what we got tonight. Um, we don't really need to practice so much because I've just done a whole race at this track. So it's kind of the same as what I just did. Just everyone else is on the same setup as me this time. So we are imbibing a reasonably expensive Beaver Town, Beaver Town uh, X Clemson and Sons Espresso Coffee Stout. So it's an espresso beer. That's what we got for this next race. So there we go. Is that red button to eject like a fighter jet? Elf Nord. No, that is the emergency stop for the steering wheel. So it's a very, very powerful steering wheel. Uh, well, the wheelbase itself. So that's what that is. Um, I can show you some... I don't know where you can see. Uh, you can't really see on this camera, but we've got the brake bias switch here, which I actually don't use for brake bias. I use one on the steering wheel. You could use that for brake bias. I should use that for volume or something. It's a nice big chunky knob. Oh, no. We've seen, seen too many of those on WhatsApp in the last day or so, haven't we? Um, anyway, right. Uh, Phil Upson. I once had something similar from Waitrose. Yes. Yeah, I think this is from Sainsbury's down the road. But. Right, let's open it. Okay, good. It didn't explode. That's a good start. Wow, that's nice. You just ordered some merch. Oh my god. Megan, what did you order? Tell me which one you ordered. Yeah, Brussels, I was trying to do an, an innuendo there. Uh, what's that dash? Which dash? So, tell me which one you mean. Do you mean the steering wheel? Do you mean the, the apex one that's behind? I'm just going to put my beer down so I don't spill it. Right, so Dan O'Hammond. Da Hang on. You're Dan O'Hammond from... You You were the guy that just beat me. Dan O is in the stream. Everyone say hi to Dan O'Hammond, who just beat me in the last race. Dan O, we would have had you if I hadn't screwed up. Just so you know, I screwed up. Hang on. If I hadn't screwed up. Um, but I did screw up, and you didn't, so well done. Um, I don't have an I Love Mac t-shirt. Um, Dano, the wheel is a uh, Cube Controls CSX2 Formula wheel, I think. Um, yeah, Dan, Dano, are you doing this next one? We're doing the fixed one. And thanks for finding the stream. You, you didn't know about the stream before I said it, did you? You found the stream because I said it on in the session, right? Um, yeah, thank right, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to fix the map. The track map looks sh sh rubbish. So let's just turn it around so it fits. There we go. Now it fits. Sweet. So, Megan, you ordered the trucker hat. What, like this one? The Phil Bradpot trucker hat. I really like it. I really like this Phil Bradpot trucker hat. Um, and the Just Winging It t-shirt. I didn't even realise I had one of those. So, what, the cart, cart mechanic? No, Just Winging It. Good, because... Um, because Megan's boyfriend, that's the right term, right? Megan's boyfriend has a go-kart, or is at least playing with a go-kart. Forever 1-0. Oh, no. Dano. <laughs> I didn't realise it was the top split, Dano. I had no idea we were in the top split. Phil Bradpot isn't normally in the top split, so... Right. Um, what's up next? We should probably practice. How long till the race? There's like 10 minutes. Should we just lay down a couple of practice laps? Is there a fixed qualifying setup? Doesn't look like there is. So everybody is on full fuel. I think we've got a half decent chance in this one. Um, 
I think we've got a half decent chance because we're not on a we're not on a bad setup compared to everyone else. So let's do it. Um, any more questions before I get cracking? And Megan, thank you for buying merch. That's really cool. You guys are too. You're too cool. Um, I'm going to buy some more of my own merch soon, but it costs me the same as it cost you. So. Right, any more thoughts on Formula 1 today? Or Formula 2, or Formula 3 for that matter. Luke Browning's BS penalty um, in Formula 3. Or um, the Horner saga. Feel free to chat about that whilst we practice. Let's go do some practice right now. Here we go. That's a new fastest lap for Devin, 201.5. All clear, off it exit. Alright, here we go. Dano, thanks for watching the stream, and thanks for subscribing. That's really cool of you. So, normally, just so you know, so Phil Bradpot is obviously the Smurf account. Phil Bradpot is the... Is Rookie Reset is the name of this program, and the whole point was that we are coming from zero and working our way up through the iRacing ranks as a rookie. We've somehow found ourselves in the top split now, which is a bit bizarre. So I think that was our first top split race, certainly the first one I knew about. Um... And we generally start at the back, but we actually did qualify in that race. It's the only race I've qualified for is Phil Bradford. We normally uh, go live at 7.30 on Tuesday nights, but I've been working away. And I'm, I'm going to be working away for the next two weeks as well. So I won't be here to, to do the stream. So this is just a very rare... Um, a rare free evening that I could do this, so that's why we're here as Phil Bradpot this evening. Right, Connor, I'm going to have to read your message. I'm going to have to go slowly on the straight to read it because I... Right, let's get out of everyone's way. Connor says, the Horner situation confuses me, to be honest. If these messages are real, which they definitely are, uh, then that's harassment, so it should be fired. This so-called independent investigator and he said he's good, so what's up? Uh, as, far as, as far as I know, they are real. Um... So, every, I mean, they're printed in national newspapers now, so I'm, I'm going to say if they've gone with it, they've probably done a bit of checking. I agree too, Megan. Right, let's try and get some laps down in practice. We've got about 10 minutes of qualifying. Let's go. Thanks everyone for watching so far, and if you haven't liked the stream already, give it a like. So, Megan, does that mean you're not a Red Bull fan? Did Adam say you're a Ferrari fan? Okay, that cost us a bit of time, not gonna lie. Who released them? We don't know. Someone who had access to them but wasn't happy with the outcome of the investigation. I love that Dano haven't came and joined us in the chat, that's so cool. Hey, does anyone want to hear my Daniel Ricciardo impression? I can do Toto Wolf and Daniel Ricciardo. That's like my two F1 impressions. I used to be able to do Felipe Massa and Kimi Raikkonen, but that won't mean anything to new F1 fans. So. Oh, hello. Well, I'm going to do Daniel Ricciardo. Right? That's a bit too fast into that. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, Daniel Ricardo would have been too fast into that corner. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that that lap was poor. P7. 
Let's try again. Toto Wolf would not be happy with that corner. My voice isn't remotely deep enough. So this lap was screwed before the exit of turn one. So we'll just uh, use this as a second warm up lap. Who else is there you can do an impression of? Funny enough, I really can't do the English drivers. I can't do George Russell. I can hear it in my head super clearly, but I can't replicate it. Oh, this car is really oversteery. Uh, let's move forward on the bias two clicks. I can do Max Verstappen. Um, I don't really have a lot to comment on that, except that he was being a pussy. Let me know if any of these um, things have an echo. I can do Charlotte. Claire. What type of? Nothing, just an incident on the race. We can do Norris. Keep going, keep going for now. Keep I going. can't, it's broken! It's broken! It's oh. off. <laughs> Need to go a lot slower into that. Okay. I don't have a George Russell um, clip to play. Kimmy, okay. P8, a lap oh, time was hang on, I'm setting up under the doing to hear myself. Oh, it was quite a good race, but uh, I don't really know what to say about the qualifying, but I think it was okay. That's Kimmy. And here's Felipe Massa. I mean, for sure. That's all I can say. Arthur, you're in this lobby. Cool. Hopefully we'll be in the same race then. I have not been paying attention to this driving at all. Or our lap times. How far off are we? We're like a second and a bit off. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get destroyed. Thanks for chatting, chat. It's really nice to see you guys all chatting to each other as well. When I'm engaged in trying to get around the track without crashing. <laughs> right, let's see what we can make of this lap. What's my best achievement in iRacing? Are you talking to me, Martin? Um, I won the Formula Renault 2.0 championship, top division. Uh, <laughs> that's maybe it. That was a while ago. Back when iRacing was easier because there weren't as many good people. Um, I'll try and, th try and think of some more. Awful. I'm just trying to carry more speed into turn one. Sorry, Mac. Because um, turn one, hit the starter button. Turn one is is a place where it feels like there's a lot of time to come. Um, I drove for Williams Esports in as a guest driver. That's an achievement. It went terribly because my brake pedal got stuck on. But apart from that, <laughs> it was all right. I can't think of any other eye racing achievements. To be honest, there might have been some, but I can't think of any. How long till the qualifying? Must be soon. Uh, two minutes, so we probably won't get. So I'm definitely, yeah, I'm the greatest Formula Renault 2.0 driver of all time. In fact, that's what I should be racing. Is there even a. I don't think there's any series for it anymore, are there? There's no official series. I think it got replaced by this car, which is not as good. So I'll tell you what, let's park it because we are not going to be able to do another lap in this session. We are. Jeez, how is someone. I can see how you could do a 57A 
or a 57.89. So that's like a 57.9. So that guy's like just over two tenths ahead of us. But the guy that's on a 57.3, that's just alien. That's crazy. Um, right, so what's this? I've got a new Mecha Hacker interview. Uh, so Mecha, you've got a good position. How does this new suspension system help you qualify? Yes. Uh, so I can't really do Mecha, even though it's quite similar to Kimmy. Um, who else? What other Formula One? Famous Formula One phrases are there? There's obviously smooth operator, but I can't. I can't do that. I've got some buttons I want to press in the next one. Does this give it a uh, side by side? No, nope, that's fine. We've got Ralph. <laughs> no, I'm either. in danger. This is all working. These are all working fine. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so we're j uh, this drink, James G. Hey, James G. Hey, James G, did you just, you joined as a channel member. So you see that little helmet next to James G's name? That means he's a channel member. James G gets special things, like special emojis. James, use some of your emojis. Show everyone your emojis. Um, you've got Nürburgring emojis and other things. Being a channel member gets you other perks that I just don't remember at the moment. But there are some. So thank you. Hey, there we go. So there's some of your emojis. If we get a couple more channel members, I can add more emojis. Um, yeah, Adam, Adam Snell, who I think is watching, is really good at impressions. He does a really good Jeremy Clarkson. He goes like, bloody brilliant. <laughs> That's what he does. So, um, yeah, Adam's very good at impressions. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, James G, look at those cool emojis. <laughs> I will add more. As soon as we, I think we just need like two more channel members and then it, it unlocks the ability for me to add extra perks for the existing channel members as well. But thank you to everyone who is a member. Anyone who's got a little helmet next to their name. If Once we've got enough channel members, then we'll do like member-only streams and that kind of thing. It's just at the moment, we don't have enough members for me to do member-only streams. So that's why. But they're just gradually creeping up. And so when, when we've got more, we'll add perks. That'll be really cool. We'll do like member events and stuff uh yeah the greatest driver in the world yeah okay so look at all these cars going what seed are we no oh no so for those of you who don't know what i'm looking at phil bradpot is the number one seed in this race that means this is split two and <laughs> we're top of split two and that's the first time I've seen that happen. So, yeah. We have to win, otherwise we lose I rating, basically. I did a thing! Yeah, exactly, Megan. Oh, no. You never want to be the top seed. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 19 wow. Celsius. So we're going to have to qualify this time. Because we've got to finish in like the top three or four, otherwise Phil Bradpot is losing I rating. Which would be unheard of. Because, norm well, not, not unheard of that you lose our rating, but from... I don't normally have to finish at the front with this account. Um, we're just waiting two minutes. Oh, no, one minute. Less than one minute until qualifying. So, we'll just chill here for a minute, guys. Sorry to make you wait. You think Phil's done being a rookie? Yeah. I'm still going to call it Rookie Reset. It's still going to be that. But I think you're right. Because we're now... We're nearly Phil Bradpot's split one reset. Many boos shot out of my ain eye. <laughs> Is that a Jeremy Clarkson quote? <laughs> Amazing. I, I do need to add Jeremy Clarkson on here. Good evening, Formula 4 drivers. I apologise for my audio quality. I'm talking to you via a webcam. We're streaming this race. If you'd like to watch the stream back or get involved, head to Phil Bradpot, my name in here, on YouTube. And you can watch it back. Get involved. Come and join the chat. The guy that I was racing last time came and joined the chat. It was very friendly. So yeah, Phil Bradpot on YouTube. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Hello, stream. Hey. Hello. Say hello to Lucien or whoever that was. Right, here we go. Best Nürburgring time so far. I think uh, I think we did a 58.9 maybe. Right, here we go. Right, let's see what we can qualify. Top five is the end. 
Let's see what we can do. Thanks for joining me, stream. This is the last race of the night. Because it's 10 to 9. Stream tends to finish about half 9. I need to go have dinner. We've got vegetarian BLTs. Make of that what you will. We've got really nice veggie bacon. You meat eaters would hate it. But for us, it's nice. No, I, I can't. Phil, I can't. I can't. I want to race for the win. I think I think this is a hard enough race that it's worth, it's worth trying to start from the front. I think this will be a better race from the front. If I just drive off and it's too easy, we'll let people through and we'll battle them on purpose. But it's not going to be like that. People are going to be way too good for that. I just don't want to be in a melee at turn one. We nearly had the race ruined last time. So let's just let's just try this one from the front. Rookie reset is not just going to end up being a drive off from the front thing though. Phil Phil Bradpart is going to be in the fight all the time, so don't worry. Thank you, James. Thank you. As a channel member, you get a, a vote. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. Channel members do have more power. You're like super subscribers. I need to be better on the entry to that chicane. Here we go. Here we go. Right, let's get a nice run out of the final corner. Deliberately wide. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks for joining us, Megan. It's been nice having you. And thank you for buying merch. Doesn't matter if you miss the apex at turn one there, because it's got a very, very steep drop, so that wasn't technically a mistake. I'm going to try and enter this corner quicker. Try and take this flat out on the exit. No, not quite. You'll have seen a small lift on the little graph down by the chat there, the little green line. I had a micro lift. Okay, it's been fine so far. This lap's been fine so far. Let's see if we can get in the 58s for our banker lap. That was my fastest ever sector there. Got a purple. You guys didn't see that it was purple, but I did. Okay, next. Let's not overcook it into this 90 left. That's okay. Could have been slightly better, but it's fine. That's kind of fine as well. Right, need to be a little bit tidier into this chicane. Much better. It's going to be a mid 58, okay, mid 58 for the first lap. Where's that put us? Provisional pole at the moment. A little bit deep on the brakes, but haven't really lost any time. Kind of level with the last one. A little bit too early on the gas there. Went for a late downshift there to see if we could carry a bit more speed in there. Kind of didn't really work much. It just made the rear unstable. So it feels like it holds you back going for an early downshift a second, but also it does stabilize the rear weirdly. Not really found any time. In fact, I've just lost a bunch of time into there. So they're going to have to take the Mickey in the final. Oh, we're only 200 ahead of Philip Logaibo as well. Logaibo. Yeah, not been quicker in any sector just yet. You'd expect the second qualifying lap to be a little bit quicker, but. So far, hasn't been.
just tried to launch it into there and it was slower. <laughs> Bit of grass. Yeah, this has just been a rubbish lap. It's really sector two where I lost the tenth and a half that screwed it. Gonna just have to really break late into here and see what happens. Gained a tenth, but not enough. Yeah, screwed it. Had to push. Gained a tenth in that um, chicane, but then had to risk in the last corner too. Not quick enough. We might not get pole, but we're near the front. We are near the front. We're not quick enough though to do like a last to first thing. We're really not. So let's have a nice fight with this Philip lad. Okay, music on. Okay, we've got one minute until... One minute, so let's watch the replay for a minute. And then uh, we'll just chill out whilst we're waiting for the race to start. Thanks everyone for joining so far. We're just, we're just relaxing whilst, it's, um, whilst qualifying comes to an end. Twenty-two people in here right now. That's cool. Everyone like the stream, and you'll help me get more people next time. A couple of new subscribers tonight, which is always nice. What are we going to watch on the telly tonight? What is there on? We've, we've exhausted all the Formula One, Formula Two, Formula Three content. I've seen all of Drive to Survive. Next up, I think we've watched all of the Landscape Artist of the Year award or whatever that was. Um, Gladiators. Is it Gladiators tonight? It is, isn't it? So. We'll be watching Gladiators, I imagine, with our vegetarian BLTs. Okay, race coming up, guys. Well, my uh, my keyboard is about to run out of battery, so need to charge that. <laughs> Remember, you win on lap one, so send it, guys. <laughs> That's the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. Telling everyone that we're streaming. Right, race time. I can, I can hear the sound of virtual engines running. It must be race time. It's time to race, time to race with you, Phil Bradbot. It's time to race, time to race with you, Brad Bradbot. Let's try. Thank you, James. Thank you. Let's try for a win for Phil Bradpock because he's not really had many wins. So I appreciate it's not top split. But let's try and get a split two win for Phil Bradpock just to finish off the night. And then uh, other than that, I would watch Doctor, Doctor Who. Okay, I don't watch Doctor Who, so I don't really... I have seen it in the past, but not for a long time. Good luck, everyone. So uh, check out the stream when the race is over and have fun. Okay. Is that is this like a new series of Doctor Who? I probably need to know some of the others, don't I? Because it's been like probably twelve or fifteen years since I watched the Doctor Who series. It would have been David Tennant. Really, was the last one that I watched. I mean, like originally. The track temp is Here we 19, go. the air temp is 18 Celsius. I've forgotten to turn off all That's the damage bad. things, okay, so... Stay calm, focus. Green, green, green. Right. Half decent start. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's going to be a race with this guy. He's quick. He was very, very close to us in qualifying. So, it's Phil and Philip. 
It's the Battle of the Fills at the front. Good start. And I promise I won't punt him like I punted the last guy. Oh, he's made a mistake. The competition is making some mistakes, so little by little, we and now make our way. Come on, Philip, come with us. Let's go. Yeah, he got a good exit there. He's got a toe. This is uh, this is going to be good. Let's hope he's clean as well. Well, I'm Kate. Yeah, that's the best I've done that corner all day. This is close, like it. See, he would have had a boring race if it wasn't for us. He's gonna get a good toe. <laughs> I'm in danger. He's not going for it, he's not going for it. Should we let him through? Guys, vote. Should we let Philip through? And then toy with him. Like a cat with a an injured mouse. What do you think? I'm putting it to the vote. Channel members get first vote. Ram him? No, I'm not going to ram him. <laughs> that wasn't one of the options. Right, I need to read what that comment was. If you do it, I saw if you do it. Oh, here he comes. I might not need to let him through. Is he coming? If you do it, you can't lose after. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell him. He might just go for it. Let's just let him go for it. If he doesn't go for it on this lap, then we'll let him through. He's not going. Philip, the live stream have voted that I let you past, so you're going to come through. Right, we're going to let him through into the last corner. Here we go. Okay, car left. Hold your line. Clear left. I want more vote for ramming. <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's just try and get back past him if we can. Well, okay, that, that didn't make a lot of difference, did it? Check him. Guys, you're terrible. I'm not going to do any of these things. <laughs> I'm not doing these things. Phil Bradpot is a good eye racing citizen. You see, when I rammed that guy in the last race, I apologise because it was my fault. I'm a good eye racing citizen. The stream also voted for a ramming, but it seems to be a Phil Tater ship. <laughs> ramming wasn't one of the options. You can't vote for something which isn't on the ballot. Send a WhatsApp to his wife. Oh my God! Is that what that says? Is that what that message says? Hang on, I can't read it before. Oh my God, guys, you're terrible. Well, Horner has created a whole set of memes, hasn't he? Whole new set of memes. That's never going away. Send a WhatsApp to his wife.
That's gonna be the best comment I've ever had on a stream. Maybe he's playing with me. Maybe he could go... Oh, no, he's gone the grass. Alright, let's just try for a couple of real quick laps. And then, then we'll maybe let him back through again. So we've got ages to go yet. He's got a great toe. That little dip at turn one is so dangerous. Do you feel the power of the gladiator? Do you have the wit and the skill? For anyone not in the UK, the gladiator's theme might not mean anything. Do you have the speed, the strength, the heart to be? Uh, what is that next lyric? Is it be a leader, be a winner? Never remember what the lyric is. He's certainly sticking with us really easily, isn't he? I don't know whether that's just because of the toe or what. I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot that comment. Send a WhatsApp to my wife. I need a button like the Mercedes team do on their steering wheel. There's a little green, you know, the Mercedes F1 car this year because they're sponsored by WhatsApp. Oh, wow, that's ironic. They've got a green button like, oh, you can't see, but like down here. And it's got the WhatsApp logo on it. This is going to be a great fight in the last couple of laps. I'll go and click forward on the bias because the rear is a bit unstable under braking. You always fancy Jet. I was too young to fancy any of the um, any of the gladiators. I think. And now they just all look scary and muscly, so I don't fancy any of them now either. The one I like the most is Legend. Legend's my favourite. I don't mean I fancy him the most, but I like him the most. He's funny. That theme tune's in my head now. Are you a gladiator? I'd love to play that music, but the, the um, video would definitely get demonetized. Have to go back a click because it locked up the front. Well, you know what? After that one, we have not pulled away from the guys in third at all. They're still four seconds behind. Let's see if we can pull away from this guy now. I'm going to try now. I'm actually going to put in some as quick as possible laps. Let's see if we can stretch him a bit. I think the fact he's got a toe makes it just really easy to stick with me. He can make a few tenths of a second mistakes and he doesn't, he's not going to lose me. Look, I mean, he's just got such a strong toe. Like gladiators on the wall, he's got a really strong toe. That's a climbing thing. I think as soon as someone mentioning sending something to someone else's wife, it's been flagged. What's been flagged? What, this video's been flagged? joking or has the video actually been flagged? Another flag. 
Watch Yellow out. flag, interesting. Ooh, back marker danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Unpredictable back marker. I just lost myself a bunch of time for no reason. Matey boy Philip behind us. Oh, okay, you're joking. Got it. I don't know. You might have seen something I hadn't seen. Guy behind us sticking with us really well, even though I had a bit of a push lap. It probably helped him that I screwed up the middle sector. Yeah. He's easily sticking with us. So. And we have pulled a second to the guys in third. So. All right, this guy, Kyle Andrews, 1.8 ki rating. Oh, I've just off that massively. Whoa, sorry, Hello. sorry, Hello. Philip, come back through. Oh. Philip, I'm so sorry. We just murdered you completely accidentally. We just, we just killed Philip. Philip is up. Philip is upside down over the barriers. Oh Watch god, we murdered two people. Philip, that obviously wasn't on purpose. You went round the outside of a out of control car, that was all. Right, we're in a different fight now. Hold your line. Oh my god, Still that there. replay from his view. Hold your line. Sorry, we, we seem to be in a battle for P1 right now, and I'm line. not really paying attention. We're now three Watch wide. Oh line. god. Well, we're still side by side Hold with someone. Line. Is the car broken? No, the car's fine. Hold I'm just line. slow. Hold your line. Still there. All, all right, we've got a fight on our hands. But, oh my god. I just completely killed. Just completely killed Philip. So I made, uh, for those of you who didn't quite see what happened there. Oh, well, a bit of bump drafting. I made a small mistake at the chicane. Oh, we nearly died then. And now we're down to third. Oh my god, these guys. Okay, I made a small mistake at the chicane. Okay, this is... We need to now sort this out. I made a small mistake at the chicane. I was trying to just collect it up. And Phil went around my outside. Clipped. We clipped. And uh, he ended up upside down. Right, let's catch this purple car. Okay. I need to get this guy. Because he just inherited a lead that he doesn't deserve. What was his last lap? 58-8. Uh, okay, he's quite quick. That's a bit of a shame. I'm actually going to have to push really hard now. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I was a little bit um, taken aback by just how much we killed poor Philip. He was just an innocent bystander, really. Let's see if we can still win this. I slowed down to let him back through, unaware that he was actually upside down the other side of the barriers. Was it net code? I feel slightly less bad if it was. Oh, this guy's actually quick. David, we're going to have to work together to catch Genrig back up. If we fight, we're not going to catch him. Right side. Now we're going to fight. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Oh, and he spun. Okay, well that solves that problem. He's gone. Right, that's push like crazy to catch this guy back up. Yeah, I actually didn't even feel any contact, and he got completely killed, so. 
Oh, we're trying to stay out of the way. This guy's actually pulling away, I think. He might have just had a bad qualifying. I don't think we're going to catch him. <laughs> I think he's gone. Yeah, he's pulling away. 10th by 10th, he's pulling away. An easy win there. Obviously, if I was like completely heartless, when uh, Philip got launched, we would have just kept our foot down and driven off. Uh, but I wanted to like let him back through or see what happened. And that lost us the uh, four second gap. The five second gap we had to this guy. not catching this guy. He's fast. What was his last time? 58-4. Yeah, he's too fast. He's as quick as us on a really good lap. <laughs> so he's gone. I should not have let him through. That was a mistake. Phil's going to have to wait for a, another win. Two minutes left, so like two laps. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. No, 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 no. <laughs> I guess it's karma that we don't win when we killed someone. We are going to probably lose our rating. There's two minutes left, two minutes. That last lap was at 158.7. Yeah, this guy's made up nine places. Definitely a Smurf account. He's way, way too quick to not be a Smurf account. Try and keep him under pressure. This has been a much better lap. They still haven't caught him at all. He's obviously had a good lap too. One more lap. Hey Vlad, nice to see you. One more lap. Yeah, we're not catching him. <laughs> We're not catching him. I think we're slightly quicker, but not enough. What time did he just do? He just did a 58-1. Oh, we did it, and we did a 58-1. Yeah, we're, we're matching him. We just got the quickest lap of the race, but... Too little, too late. The guy in third's made 20 places. Oh, 
I can't, I can't ram him. I'm not close enough. He's also pulled away. Pulled away a couple of tents. Fair play. He's done well. He's won and he's started in tenth. And I did kill someone again. This was bad though. We have to watch the replay. <laughs> James, I'm not ramming people. I could do it now if I went flat out across, but I'm not doing that. That wasn't a ram attempt. That was just a bad corner. All right, last corner. Well, we didn't get a win. We started on pole, though. We got a pole. But that guy did a better job. Good job, Genrick. Pretty good. Well done, Phil. Great drive. That's a podium. It was not a great drive. Let's have a little quick look at what happened when we murdered our friend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a scraped front wing there. Uh, let's see. What lap was it? It'll be the lap that we're slow. So it's this lap, maybe? Here we go. Let's just zoom around. Have a little looksy look. So, I made a mistake going into here. Uh, no, not here. Sorry, a bit later. Into here. So it went a bit deep. Clearly wasn't... Oh my god, the poor guy. The poor guy. The poor guy. Where is it? Philippe Logalbo. Man. Completely was not... That was not on purpose. Let's just have another look at a different view. So, here we go. So I go a bit deep. Let me see if this keyboard's got any battery left. So... Let's blame it on dirty air. It wasn't dirty air. Let's blame it on that anyway. Go a bit deep. And I'm clearly trying to avoid it. But I'm just trying to turn right. Like, that was... Okay. Really, that was very, very silly from Philip. You know, it wasn't his fault that it all happened. But you can see a car's rejoining. Let's go on board with him. Let's all learn a lesson from this, guys. Because in this situation, what should have happened here... A more experienced driver would have done this. This car, you see it... You know, me. You see it going deep. So you slow down a bit because what you want to do, we've made a really nice apex. We now want to cut back up the inside. So we do definitely don't want to go around the outside because I can see from the trajectory of this car, he's definitely going to go wide. So the pink and green car, me, is definitely going to go wide. So right now you should break, as Philip here, Philip Logalvo, we should break and cut up the inside, take the lead. But he tried to go around the outside where I was always going to go there. I, I had nothing I could do about that. I was I was always going wide. Like I'm just understeering wide across the curb, trying to stay out of the way. So yeah, it's not it's not his fault, but he could have easily avoided that. I mean that is that is just <laughs> It's it's a little bit funny, but I mean I've gotta watch that again. The poor guy, but he could have avoided it. Wow. And and if I hadn't, if I hadn't, <laughs> if I hadn't just slowed down afterwards to wait for him, I could have still easily won. Watch how much I slowed down. So I now back off massively. Just wait, wait, wait. Where is he? Where is he? Wait. Let the other guys catch up. Lose five seconds. Lose the race. <laughs> this guy behind me must have thought that was an absolute gift. Look how far behind this guy is when we go in the chicane. Look, we're in a different postcode. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then this happens. Poor Philip. Look, off, off that poor guy goes. He sees that guy up on the barrier. And he's like, 
Hello. Hello, I've got a chance here. He sees me. He must think I'm damaged. And he's like, oh yeah, that car's damaged. I got this. I got this win. And then this car starts getting on the gas again. That's, that's fun. Let's see what, what he saw. I was just chatting to you guys. I wasn't paying attention to this at all. I thought we got this guy easily. I thought I was way quicker than this guy. So I wasn't even... I was like, yeah, we'll deal with him in a minute. Oh my god. Right, so anyway. Um, it's time for who is it? Pretty much mine again. Um, yeah, he could have avoided it, but it's pretty much my fault. So there we go, guys. That was uh, Phil Bradpot's rookie reset. Um, let's see what I rating we gained or lost. Safety rating. Um, yeah. Let's have a quick look at I racing. So, race results. Race event at the Nürburgring. So we came second, we gained 73 I rating. Oh my god, imagine what we would have got if we'd won. Imagine what we would have got. We would have got like 80 something. Not a lot more, to be honest. Uh, we're a D license still. That's a shame. Uh, we got 0 0.06 safety rating, so we're creeping up to the 3.9 area. But yeah, so that was split two. Um, okay, so we're nearly at like 2.6k I rating. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. That guy was a deserved winner. He gained a load of places. Got the best lap time of the race. Fair play to him. And sorry to Philip if you're watching this back. Poor guy. He lost 60 I rating. And he was doing nothing wrong. He was actually trying to be really safe. Um, he just misjudged my mistake and tried to go around the outside. Guys, that was Phil Bradpot's Rookie Reset. Thank you very much for watching. See you in a couple of weeks because I'm going to be off, uh, you know, working away still. So stick with the channel. Watch the other videos. Watch my video with Cameron Dask go-karting, go, go to the main feed on the channel, watch me racing D-Max with Cameron Das, see how we do. Um, it's coming up to the GX UK season soon, so it's nearly time for some go-kart videos. So hang with me, we've got a test coming up in March, but probably no live streams for the next two weeks, just because I won't be at home. But hang around, please don't leave. See you at the end of the next couple of weeks where we'll do some more, and here's the end screen. Like, subscribe, thank you, love you, bye.